In a very special air today. Včera bol zvolený za pápeža. Because yesterday was the day when as a pope občan z vašej krajiny a personality from your country was elected. Čo je významné aj člen vašej nadácie. And which is very important a member of your foundation. Človek, ktorý celý čas sa usilovalo o to, aby sme našli pravdivú odpoveď, čo sa s Ravlom Wellenbergom stalo. A person which tried very hard for a long time to find a truthful answer to the fact what happened to Mr. Wallenberg. Takže ešte raz som veľmi rád, že vás môžem privítať so v prezidentskom paláci. I'm very pleased that I can be your host today in our presidential palace. A teším sa z toho, že sa spolu môžeme zhovárať, aj keď z dôvodu pripomenutia si aj najťažších časov, aké vôbec ľudia na histórii na Zeme Guli prežili. And it's a pleasure to be able to talk to you today, even though uh, one of the topics is the, one of the most horrible things that ever happened on our Earth. Vysloviť slovo holokaust je niečo strašné. Just to pronounce the word holocaust is something horrible. Ja každý rok spolu s predstaviteľmi štátu Izrael si pripomínam tieto dni, kedy odozdávame ceny tým, ktorí sa neváhali, tým, ktorí neváhali obetovať svoje životy aj životy svojich blízkych za to, aby pomohli židovským spoluobčanom. Together with the representatives of state Israel in Slovakia, every year I'm trying to remember, uh, remember and honor those who helped to save Jewish citizens. Aby ich zachránili pred cestou, ktorá skoro vždy znamenala smrť. Honor those people who tried to save Jewish citizens from the horrible journey to a place which meant death. Tým chcem vysloviť vám takú vďaku, ale najmä ocenenie, že ste založili túto nadáciu. I want to express my gratitude and also express a big respect to you that you grounded a foundation which is extremely important. A že dodnes ste takí priekopníci, ktorí hľadajú ozaj prečo Wallenberg, ktorý urobil toľko dobrá pre ľudí. To je jedno, či pre Židov. Urobil pre ľudí takú veľkú službu a my dnes ani nevieme, ako skončil, aj keď predstavu o tom máme. And that till day you are the pioneers of a search for truth because you are you are trying to help us find the answer to what happened to this wonderful man who did so much good. The Wallenberg Foundation is not a Jewish institution. It's not a Jewish institution. We are honoring every person who helped every person. Lately we, we honored uh, an Indian and uh, Catholics and Christians. It's not an honor to say, but we Jewish people, and I'm Jewish, very Jewish, uh, it's not an honor to say that we, uh, we had the uh, Holocaust and so on, but the savers of the Holocaust were Christians or non-believers, and we are searching and honoring them all the time, and till this very day we are discovering people who saved and we devote our time and we honor them. 
So I thank you very much. I will. Uh, His Excellency, Mr. President, uh, thank you for your words. It is an honor for me to be here together with my friend uh, and founder of the Wallenberg Foundation, Mr. Rob Kennebock. Today we present the Wallenberg, the Raoul Wallenberg Centennial Medal to you and on your behalf to all the Slovak Holocaust rescuers who have helped thousands of persecuted people during one of the most tragic chapters of the modern world. Their guiding examples remain an everlasting beacon of hope that teaches us that individuals can make a difference, even in the most stressing and dangerous situations. I cannot sufficiently emphasize the courage of these more than 500 Eslovaks, men and women, who at great personal risk remain true to their high standard of personal morals. They stretch a caring hand to those in need, sharing with them their struggle, their passion, and their passion, their tragedy. The feat creates an indelible mark on our global society because it, it is rooted in the behavior that endures the values of human solidarity. The year 2012 marked the centennial of the birth of Raoul Wallenberg, the Swedish diplomat who helped save the lives of thousands of persecuted people during the Holocaust. Wallenberg disappeared after being arrested by the Soviet army in January 1945. As part of this celebration, President Barack Obama became the first United States President to ever issue a televised address devoted entirely to Raoul Wallenberg. This unprecedented gesture has served to elevate the recognition of righteous humanitarian action and set an example that we hope is embraced with goodwill by other world leaders. Again, Mr. President, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. This is for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.
Ինչուն եւ մեզ մեղավորած
Yes. No? This is, if you read here, it says, this is for you. You will make a frame here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we want to thank uh, you, Peter, that uh, you come here and you made a, a long trip from Argentina to Israel uh, and, and to Milano and to Spain to, to, to see us. And uh, I think it's, there are some coincidences because uh, between uh, uh, your organization and our organization, because uh, two fundators of the organization here, one is Jews and the other is Armenian, and you have the same story. You have one Armenian and Jews. So only for this kind of, uh, of this, uh, uh, coincidence, I think uh, it will be um, it, it will be good uh, to, to 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 promote uh, some uh, collaboration for the future in our work. You no, know? so we are now well known. Uh, in Italy and, and in Europe, you know, because we create something, I think, unique in, in, uh, uh, in the world. Uh, uh, no. Io, me, me personally, okay. uh, I think this a uh, very uh, popular argument, Mr. Baru. We're angry about the unity and the goals very clear to have Jewish community to defend and to protect the way of life and their presence and their history. Uh, we Armenians uh, have gone a very similar way sometimes, in some cases, like uh, Jewish people. But uh, we don't have that sense of unity in specific goals. Because I think that uh, what happened to the Armenians took them Suddenly, and without thinking that, that things like that could happen, what happened to the Jewish people, it seems part of the history and something that it was maybe expected or waited by or was prepared by this. So the Jewish people have been fighting for the present, struggling with 2,000 years of history. Uh, but in the case of the Armenian, no. We were living in a dream. And suddenly it happened what nobody doubted that it one day happened. But it happened. And uh, there is history, and we should learn from history. What we should learn from history is that they think we can. It's impossible that again the human being cross pass for the same experience. And there, where we should join, join in the effort that opened the eyes of the coming generations to save the coming generation. These things that happen in the moment that you never expected. You should be prepared, the world should be prepared to denounce and also to fight together. That is my two basic reasons for why I'm interested in learning, studying. This is I must tell you that I know about you, I heard about you, heard about you years, years and years ago. And uh, if I remember well, well, well uh, we sent, we sent, I sent, I sent, I signed, I signed, a, a few times, times letters, letters, letters congratulating the way you're doing and so on. on. But, uh, but uh, after, after you know, uh, uh, one or two years, one, years uh, I found out a man that I told Eduardo about it. Yeah, there are and things, there things are which are which are are you are doing, are doing, are doing, are doing. First, of all, First of all, the philosophical, the philosophical, philosophical aspect. As well as the aspect, 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 aspect is that, that we don't we lament, don't lament what, happened. what happened. We are thinking we about the future. So, once we 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 try we try to remember remember what happened. What happened. And, and you did a you did fantastic thing. thing. We were today in the morning in the morning in the forest. The forest. We saw we saw trees, trees. We saw we the saw the and uh, the, the, the dedication. dedication. Fantastic. Very, very good. Very good. But, but the most important thing is education. We must uh, 
try to teach our children about the heroes, the people who help and save. And in our foundation, we don't discriminate. Whoever saves is a hero. Look, we have branches, branches in New York, in Buenos Aires, in Jerusalem, in Jerusalem. In Berlin, Berlin, we have volunteers in different places, places, and so on. We, we don't, don't work, work uh, uh, specially in New York. York. You do, you do. And you don't work on the in America. We do, we do. I think that the answers which can be done together, together with your thing, you are thinking about it. But to them, plan. For instance, I was happy to see that you went to the European Parliament and decided to sign a six or six to do something that was. I read it in only six or six or six months, six months. Do it, do it. It was fantastic. fantastic. It's very good, it's very good. And we and can next, next year, year also the one day, 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 and our idea was to universalize uh, the concept of the Rautus. Why? Because uh, the Rautus is an example of a man who takes responsibility. You know? And so what I say every, you know, the conference I do everywhere, I say I cannot change the past, but I can try to improve the present. So when I when I, I teach the story of the Raitus, I give a message to young generation to take responsibility. Because I say, this idea of the, of the hero of the Shoah have not to be something that is only uh, related uh, to the Jewish memory, but have to be a category for humanity. So the Raitus people is a category of humanity. The person who take care who take care of the humanity uh, in all the situations, no? Okay, Ciao. take care. Okay. Arrivederci. 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 Thank you very much.